Hey guys, it's time for another Krita tutorial. Today we're going to be going over the color mask editing tool, or colorize mask editing tool. Basically what it's going to do is help you color your image a lot faster. It automatically creates a mask, the, the line art that you have, and it speeds things along really nicely. It's best for getting your flat colors down. Obviously, if you have shading and stuff to do, you'll have to do that on your own. But this makes the beginning of the coloring process a lot easier and kind of fun. So I have my art here. I have all the liner on one layer. Oops, right here. Sorry. Really mess. There. That way you know what layer I'm working on. And I don't have to do anything to my line art. Um, right, everything's pretty tightly closed. This is a little thin here, but that's okay. I'm going to leave it. There, otherwise, there's no gaps. So that's good. I'm going to make life a little bit easier. So we're going to hit the Colorize Mask Editing tool. We're going to click on our line art layer. And as you can see, we're going to take the back layer off. There we go. As you can see, it kind of distorted our image a little bit, but it's not like a bad thing. It's a good thing. What it's basically doing is taking our line art and making a mask, kind of masking that line art off. So when we put the color on, it's not going to mess with the lines. It's going to keep it separate. So we're going to go to tool options, and right away we can see there's some options and weird settings. And as you can see under tool options, we have a few options to choose. Uh, we want to keep the edit key strokes on so we can see what we're doing. You want to keep the show output on so you can actually see the color that you're putting on there. And limit to layer bounds means if you have, this is on a, a bigger canvas. Actually, let me just um, do that real quick. Just gonna expand this a little bit. Turn that white layer on. And back to the colorize. Alright, so I'm on the wrong layer. There we go. So if I limit to the layer bounds, the artwork for this layer is within that white background. And the gray here, right here it's not going to affect anything with the colorized mask tool. That might be useful, might not be, you know, if you don't want to fill in the background. So I'm going to uncheck that because I don't really need to worry about it. I'm just going to delete that uh, colorized mask layer and recrop this. I don't really need all that space. So. Okay. And then the gap close hint, uh, if you have gaps in your lines, by adjusting this, you can help uh, reduce the color from leaking too far away from your line work. And the cleanup just kind of refines that edge if the, you know, the color is leaking out of the line art. And we have keystrokes, which at the moment we can't do anything with. But that's okay, because we're going to do that right now. So you uh, choose a tool or a brush to you color with. It works with most of them. Uh, right now I'm using the ink one, but you can use the chalk or the airbrush. Some of the paint ones might require a special layer, so they might not work. That's okay. Just uh, pick whatever one you're comfortable with. I'm going to do pink for her shirt, because I can. I'm also going to turn off my background layer, just to make it easier to see. And I'm just going to make one stroke. So right now, what I'm going to be telling this tool is everything within these lines, I want to be pink. So after that, I'm going to hit update. So weird thing happens is everything turns pink. And that's because I haven't quite 
said, well, I don't want everything on this layer to be pink. I just want a certain section of it. Because right now it's still leaving alone my line art, which is great. So if you go down to keystrokes, you see that there is a remove and a transparent. I can remove that pink stroke and then hit update. It takes it away completely. And then when I add this again, that pink will appear back. So we have to basically tell this tool that everything around the line art isn't meant to be filled in. It's only this part here. Basically you have to create a, a mask, a, a secondary mask in a way. So let's just take a really dark gray and we're going to make just two marks. Two marks, that's it. And now making sure that color that we just put down around the line art is selected as you can tell it's with the blue box when I hit transparent I'm just going to put a red line through it and that's saying that this color is transparent no other colors are allowed to go here we're going to hit update it does take a few seconds and as you can see it's updated her shirt her shirt only her shirt is pink everything around her is transparent so if I or uncheck the edit keystrokes, I can see what, can I get a preview of, it, of what it looks like. So if you take off edit keystrokes, you can see a preview of what it looks like. Turn it back on, that's just showing you the actual strokes. So I'm going to continue just filling this in. And uh, I'll speed through this so you don't have to sit here for minutes on end watching me do this. Alright, so now we're getting into a small area for the color, which is her mouth. So we have to be a little cautious about how we're going to be filling this in. Erase this. And the eraser tool, by hitting E, it works just the same as if you were coloring like normal. And if you are going to be using a other colors make sure not to repeat the same color that you've already used for your transparent color because then it's it's just going to make that section transparent all right so that looks fine did I have to do anything crazy you can kind of see how that, that I mean it's, I kind of sped through some of it but so you don't have to sit here waiting for like two minutes but it took me a couple of minutes or less, I didn't really time myself, maybe less than a minute, I don't know, to really put this t the colors on there. And then I hit update, wait a few more seconds. And we're done. And look how nice and clean that is. There are, oh, that just turned out really good. My line art isn't the cleanest for this because it was just a quick sketch, but there are no gaps in the color. There is no like it's not uh, having issues flips filling the whole thing in. It's like I went and colored it by hand. Look how clean that is. It fills in everything. It's perfect. Kind of missed a spin there, but that's okay. And that's it. That's the colorized mask editing tool. I mean that's pretty amazing if you ask me. It saves so much time. And the nice thing about this too is that if you go back to edit keystrokes you can just erase those strokes or you can just remove that color altogether and add a new one in. So if I didn't like that pink shirt, let me hit update just to make sure it's gone. Yep, it's gone. So it went to purple because there's nothing else defining the color. Let's say I want to kind of go with more of a sea green, and I'll just color that in here. Update. There you go. That's it. You change the color. That way you don't have to. Oops. That way you don't have to worry about erasing and masking and selecting and everything else repeatedly just to get a color scheme down or to try out different colors. This will make it a lot faster for you. So once you're done with all of the color, once you're done putting all the color down and you have, it's 
all laid out how you want it to be, we still have to do something with that layer because right now we can't go back and edit it. If I hit B for brush and I use the eraser tool, I can't do anything to this layer. So if you right click on the color as mask layer, which will be under the layer of the line art or whatever other layer you're using, we want to convert it to a paint layer. So then it becomes its own layer. It doesn't affect the line art, it doesn't change the mask or it doesn't retain any masking. So now I can go, oops, I need to erase. There we go. So I can go through and I can just erase the color if I want. I can draw on it, I can blend it. Uh, blender. I think that's the blender. Yeah, I can go ahead and blend it if I want now. I can do everything that I normally do with a color layer. And that's it. It's pretty simple. And I love it. I think it's really cool. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you try this tool out. I hope you like this tool. And if you like what you're seeing with all my content and you want to support me, I have a Patreon and a coffee where you can uh, throw a few bucks my way or just one buck. You can also follow me on my social media accounts. That helps too. Or just share my stuff. That's really the best thing you could do for me is to share it. Don't even have to subscribe to share it. That works too. Alright, thanks and have a good one.